YouTube. I'm R from Learning Souls. Welcome back to my channel. Um, got a package in the mail. I did uh, some shopping on Discogs and um, decided uh, to pull the trigger on some things. Um, there's more coming in, but uh, this was already in and it went pretty fast, I think. Uh, I think I ordered Friday and it's now Monday and I already got it. So kind of weird um, but um, just use another shipper than a uh, regular post so uh, probably uh, that's why it's a day earlier um, a normal post doesn't deliver on Monday and this um, company does so and this doesn't matter anyways um, the box is kind of dinged up so I hope everything went okay but we'll see um, all secondhand stuff, so not really uh, stuff that I thought well, I want to have um, in my um, collection or a hat in my collection, a one pack or that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, nothing really new, black metal or something, no, uh, that isn't the case here. Um, might be a few surprises for you guys in here, but uh, to me, it's uh, yeah, things I want to have back. And uh, some other stuff I wanted to have for a longer time. So let's crack open the box um, and see what the dude has sent me. Pretty cheap old things. I think I paid uh, not so much, two, about two, three euros. This it is somewhere even one euro or something. So you know, it's, it's not really. I guess it was it is. Um, so let's see. I uh, cut it. So well, there's enough paper in here. So he tried to cover up the things. So we'll see. Paper, 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 paper. And there I see the CDs. So let's start off with this stack. First one I pick out here is a CD by Dead Hats. This is an album I want to have for a longer time. This is Skill Division. And Dead Hat is a long running um, fresh metal band from the Netherlands. They are from Kampen actually. Um, pretty close to where I live, uh, like uh, 15 km kilometers or something like that. Um, so it's pretty close. Um, yeah, this was their comeback album in 1999, I think. Um, so, yeah, really glad to have this. Uh, it looks pretty good, Nick. Although this needs a clean, but overall it's it's used. But uh, yeah, it, what, it is what it is. It's not like mint. So, uh, this was on Cold Blood Industries release. So it's really. A release that is really hard to get, uh, except for in this box, um, because the blood industries is no more for years. So um, we'll see. But I'm really glad to own this. Um, distributed by Rough Trade back in the day. Um, but really cool to see on the back with the track listing and the uh, band lineup. And the front really cool and then an album you might think what what the fuck mark uh, yes yeah, reload by Metallica um, I, it's not my favorite album from the band in any means but uh, I just want to give this a re-listen um, I want to re revisit the songs a uh, few are like and a lot of, there are some tunes <laughs> I fucking hate but um, I just wanted to give it another chance. I had this in my collection, of course, but I got rid of it when I moved because it's one of those things I listen to uh, not much, actually. But I want to give it a, another try, and it was one euro seventy-five. So if it was like ten euros, I wouldn't bother. But for one euro, um, you know, it's a second-hand copy, but that's okay. They all are so, um, 
everybody is familiar with this album by now I think if you're a Metallica fan or listened to Metallica in the past you came across this album probably he wrote and he wrote for very different albums than the albums prior to that but hey the black album was already way different than the early stuff so it just was a natural development for this band probably which is the way of what they want to feel uh, making you could consider well why didn't you do it on the other name well yeah that's how it goes sometimes you know um but yeah i would just want to give this another try and i think there are some tunes that i enjoy and you know, some um, a bit less but we'll see where it goes uh, so reload by metallica also um took a chance on this one all the hype stick is already getting way yellowy I don't know, maybe I should replace the case. This is the mini album A Jar of Lies by Alice in Chains. They did this in 94, I think. Yes, 94. Uh, really great album, uh, EP. Uh, tracks like Nutshell and No Excuses are fantastic. Uh, great tracks. Uh, these are there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tracks. This and the disc here and back of the tray. Look at this, this gets a full out thingy here. It has seen better days, it's definitely used, but uh, I don't mind. Um, it's just an old album, you know. But yeah, I just want to give this a try. A leader like dirt, and I thought, well, uh, let's pick up this EP. I rebought uh, actually Kiss Revenge, one of my favorite Kiss albums. Fantastic release. Um, great checks, tracks on this on Holy Take It Off. Um, Got to Gave Rock and Roll to You, Domino is a great song. Um, Paralyzed. Um, yeah, good songs. And the first, and uh, with another drummer, uh, you know, after the death of Eric Carr, uh, there is some guard jam from. 80s on here as a sort of tribute, but this is uh, with uh, Eric Singer, I think his name is. Uh, yeah, Eric Singer is on drums here, and it's the blonde guy here. And then you have, of course, Gene Simmons, Paul Stanley, and uh, Bruce Kulik. So, yeah, great lineup. Great album, a uh, lot of is is an album that's a lot overlooked uh, in some kind of reason, but it's def definitely has some great tunes on this. And the city just looks like this. So yeah, I'm looking forward to give this a spin. Kiss with Revenge, this is from 92 I think, yeah 92, 1992, sorry for the glare there. Over to the next stack, and the last stack, yeah, because the box is empty now. First thing I come across here is a helmet with, helmet with Betty, and this is some alternative metal, grunge metal, um, and band of it was quite popular back in the day. This was released in 94 as well, I think. Somewhere in that era. But it doesn't say, yeah, 94. Um, love the way that it's in this yellow jewel case. Um, it is a limited edition, collection edition, special package including biscuits for smarts, of course. That's the big thing on this. Together with uh, Wilma's Rainbow, probably. Um, yeah, really great tunes. I heard this a lot back in the day, but never owned it. Um, it was also on uh, the metal radio station. I listened to metal radio programs. Sorry, um, we draw uh, spin some tunes from this album, and I really enjoyed it. It was not. It's not a band I was seeking out immediately, but I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I really like their sound, so 
Um, I thought I saw this in this tag and I thought let's buy it as well. A couple of euros it can't hurt to own this album because the big albums I went for here were uh, the Deadhead one and the Kiss one. That were the, probably the main reasons I bought this tag. So um, this is um, no yellow and it's all about a thing. Great stuff, I really enjoy it and it's printed on the case, so um, yeah, good album, um, if you're not familiar with it and you like some alternative metal, some grungy alternative metal, then I definitely will enjoy this, it does not like sound like Nirvana or something, don't expect that, but definitely has their own sound, but um, yeah, it's really good, Bel Helmet with Betty. Next up, an album I re-bought. Um, I really love that you were more human than human on here. That's definitely my jam from that that year. I really love that track. I'm talking about White Zombie, I Still Creep, 2000s. Um, this was the band from Rob Zombie prior to his solo stuff. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this album. Um, great stuff on here. Um, yeah. Definitely in the same vein as the uh, Rob Zombie, but uh, but a bit less electronic. Let's put it that way. A um, bit more metal, but it's fantastic stuff. Really long fallout booklet, and I've talked about this band before because I have also a record by them. I have shown some time ago. Hopefully, I, of course, I folded the wrong way. Why the <laughs> this is really ridiculous, you know. Um, I don't know how this should be. It's really frustrating, this fallout thingies sometimes. And I'm probably not good anymore, but I take it here. Probably not the right way, but um, I'm kind of fed up with this. Um, so, yeah, but the helm is good, but the booklet is kind of irritating to fold it back in. But it's a good album, at least on Gaffin Records back in the day. This was released in 96, 95, somewhere 95. Great release White Zombie has still creep 2000. Next one as an album um, kind of missing in my Manowar collection back in the day and funny that is one of the first things I buy because I want to get more old Manowar back in my collection I have a couple of albums still Battle Him and uh, Hail to England is one I have I think and you can see right here yeah something like that and I have one on vinyl um, so I, I, I bought uh, Fighting the World from 87, yeah 87 on Atlantic, um, Fighting the World is great, Blow Your Speakers is fantastic, um, Master of Revenge, Black Winds, Fire and Steel are great, um, the only gripe on me on here is Defender, the story uh, song, that's a song I don't like, but um, if that's all on the whole album. Who cares? Even the drum, drum solo is uh, kind of fun to listen to. So, um, yeah, fantastic album. My favorite album from the band, but um, was probably uh, probably Battle Him or uh, Hail to England. It are my favorite albums. That's why I kept them in my collection and get rid of the rest. Um, but um, yeah, nonetheless, it's. Good to have um, Fighting the World by Man of War. And the last one is also a uh, rebuff by. Uh, kind of frustrating that he keeps on the hype stickers on the CD. It's, uh, yeah, anyway, so this is Corn with Issues. And one freaking happy album from this band. Um, Falling Away From Me is the big track and Make Me Bad of course, um, but this definitely has more great tracks, um, Back For You, uh, 
make um, ain't going way easy. Hey, daddy, somebody, someone is really good. Um, yeah, it has definitely heavy sound for his band, and it's really interesting listen. And uh, a couple of euros, why not? No, I'm slowly buying old stuff uh, back. It's so funny how the CD looks. No, it's not a CDR. It's definitely a real CD. Comes with a bonus disc I see here. That's something new to me. Never had the bonus disc. There are some remixes from Adidas. Good God, got the life. And a live song and jingle balls. I know this song. I heard that on YouTube. This is a really heavy Christmas uh, song. It's interesting to have that as well. Never had the bonus disc. I just had the one disc version back in the day. So it's really cool to have the two disc version. I didn't know that it was the two disc version as well. So that's really cool. And let's open the booklet if I want to. I don't know. It's also a fallout one. So I'm kind of risking here my illustration here. But this is the booklet. Fantastic album, I'm really glad to have this back. Um, there was a kind of a competition going on back in the day for the album cover and this were the candidates. Of course this one won, but the other three were the finalists. It's really cool that I gave it a, a print in the booklet as well. I think I have seen this version as well some, somewhere someday. But yeah. Good to have it in the collection, corn with issues, it's not everyone's thing, but I like here and there and some corn, not every day, but um, sometimes it's really good to listen to this kind of stuff, just getting back into my youth and past. Um, so that's it guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, um, let me know in the comment section down below how you feel, um, I'm really glad to have these HCDs in the collection. There's more stuff coming, um, it's on the way, you know, a CD from Croatia is just com way, coming this way and there is um, a package on the way from Italy and there is not something else, but I can, there, I know there's something else, but stuff, more stuff coming in, um, as you guys know I also will be attending the Stone Edge festival, um, so if you see this video I'm pretty, probably already there, um, so um, we'll see, but um, I might take some footage of that, I don't know, but definitely will make a video about the Stone Edge festival, my experiences and stuff like that, so uh, that is still coming up. There's some direction videos coming up, so there's more to come, don't worry, um, you're not getting rid of me yet, I'm still doing my thing here. Um, so, thank you all for watching guys, I really appreciate it, but before we go, we were listening to Belfigor with Totem of Ritual. Um, the new album is coming out soon as well, I'm looking forward to that, so um, it's, uh, it's called The Devils I think, and um, yeah. It will be a fantastic album. This is really heavy black and death metal from Austria. If you're not familiar with Belfagor, um, that's what this is. Really good stuff. So, thank you all for joining and see you guys next time.